Hello and welcome to the Fast Track Travel Clinic with me, Simon Calder. You may have seen our recent report on a spelling mistake that nearly cost a passenger more than $1,000 until Fast Track got involved. Well, many of you have been in touch with similar problems, such as Simon Whipping, who's flying from London to Orlando this summer. Or is he? Unfortunately, my daughter has put her married surname down on my flight, so I now appear as Simon Dixon. We try to get the airline to change the name, but they say no. The airline, Virgin Atlantic, tells me they will correct spelling errors for $50, but says your case is different. We cannot change a name on a ticket under any circumstances. Should a passenger wish to make a name change, the existing ticket must be cancelled and a new ticket must be purchased for the new traveller. At this stage, that will cost you perhaps $1,500. Fortunately, there is a solution. It sounds a bit extreme, but will be much cheaper. Under UK law, it's straightforward to change your name from Simon Whiffin to Simon Dixon. You can then apply for a new passport under this new name. Then, when you turn up at London's Gatwick Airport, they'll be expecting you. It'll cost around $200 to arrange, and the same again if you want to revert to your real identity when you return, but that will still save you more than $1,000. Lisa Kennedy from Dublin asks a big question. Which, in your opinion, is the most appealing state in Australia? I've been to Sydney, Brisbane and along the Queensland coast, and now I'd like to concentrate on a single region. Lisa, I've been lucky enough to travel to all the Australian states and territories, and there's much to recommend in every single one. But in terms of those elusive travel moments that make you go wow, well, Victoria and Tasmania are the two smallest states, yet packed with history, diversity and natural beauty, not to mention great beaches and capital cities. The Northern Territory deserves an honourable mention too, with everything from the drama of Uluru, perhaps better known as Ayers Rock, to the Aboriginal heritage in Kakadu National Park. Tracy Kaluski is visiting St. Petersburg in the summer and says, I am thinking of adding a two-night stay in Moscow. How easy and safe is it for a lone female to travel in Russia? Moscow makes a perfect combination with St. Petersburg. Russia's two biggest cities are very different but endlessly fascinating. The ideal way to travel between them is by train. The air journey is tedious because of the airport complications. And I would strongly suggest you take the train by night because the scenery isn't noted for its great diversity. You won't be missing much sleeping through most of it. Theft is much more of a risk than your personal safety being in danger. Finally, Douglas Bolton gets in touch from Dallas in Texas to ask... I want to drive the length of the Baja Peninsula in Mexico, but only one way. Can I rent a car in Tijuana and drop it off in Los Cabos at the southern tip? Yes, and what a magnificent trip it will be. More than 1,000 miles along this dramatic peninsula, with plenty of interest from whale watching to unspoilt beaches along the way. But it won't be cheap. The basic rate for renting a compact car for a week is around $500, but if you want to leave the car somewhere else, you'll pay a drop-off charge of 70 cents a mile. And if you drive every bit of Mexico's Highway 1, which runs the length of Baja, that could more than double the cost. The budget alternative is the bus, which will cost around $150 one way in the most luxurious vehicles. And it's easy to break up the journey as and when you like. For example, there are four buses an hour between Tijuana and Ensenada. And when you finally reach Los Cabos, you can simply step aboard a flight back to Dallas-Fort Worth. That's all we've got time for in this session of the Fast Track Travel Clinic. From me, Simon Calder, bye for now and see you next time. Later on the Fast Track Travel Clinic, could it really be cheaper legally to change your name than pay for a mistake on an airline booking?